Yo, what is going on everyone? Yachting White here back with another video and in this one I'll be showing you guys how you can collect all 10 of the landmark gems. Now this is probably one of the hardest challenges this season at least so far. You're going to have to go around to 10 different landmarks and collect the gems in those areas. Now all of the landmarks don't have gems in them and once you get into those areas you also have to like kind of find the gem and they're going to be hidden. So I wanted to make this video to show you guys where all 10 of them can be found. Now, the first location we're going to start out is in this island in the back. So they're going to find some turbines back here, but luck luckily I'll show you guys exactly where you can find the gem. Just put your marker down on this island. Once you fly in, you're going to find the gem on the right side of the island underneath all of these turbines. So this one can be a little annoying to find, but once you get close to it, you'll notice that the gem does pop up on your minimap as well. And here's the exact location as to where you can find this. Now the next location is going to be inside of Greasy Grove, or at least just outside of it. If you haven't discovered this location yet, here's where you're going to find it. That town right next to it is Greasy Grove. And in order to find the gem, you might want to discover the landmark first, just to make sure you get the XP for discovering that as well. And when you fly in, you're going to fly right over Greasy Grove. Here's the town. You actually don't want to land here. Instead, you want to land in the back by these electrical poles with the zip lines on them. If you go up to the top of this pole, you'll find one of the gems located here, and that should be number two. Now, if you want, you can grab a vehicle, or you can just simply go into another game. But some of these landmarks are far away from each other, and that's why this challenge can be so annoying. So that's number two. We're going to move on to number three. So number three is going to be found over here on the left side of the map, sort of over here by this little lake. So however you want to get over there, it's up to you. I just went down into Greasy Grove and grabbed myself the nearest car. So I think that's probably the best way to do it. And then you can get over to this gem in like 30 seconds or so. So you're going to head west once you grab your car. Head up on top of these mountains and I'll show you exactly where you can find this gem. So here's the exact location on the minimap where you're going to find it. I did believe this one's at a radio broadcast station so you should see that radio station from a distance and then all you really have to do is just go up there and collect it. Now luckily just below the station keep in mind that there's these ATVs here and so you want to grab the ATV once you grab this gem that way you can get right on over to the next one. This one should I believe be number three and we're going to go over to number four next. So here's another look at where I am on the map. From this location, you can easily get to the next gem by grabbing the ATV down below. So that's where we're going to set our waypoint. We're going to grab the ATV. And we're going to head over to this small little lake over here. So get yourself to this lake and you can take the vehicle across the water but keep in mind there are sharks in here as well so that's the only thing you really have to be on the lookout for. This gem isn't really too hard to find once you get to this island all you have to do is go to the middle of it and you should see the gem located right here between the trees. So all I had to do is just take out this guy real quick I believe it might have honestly just been a bot and then you should be able to collect the gem that's right here in the middle of these trees. I will once again show you guys where I am on the minimap so we don't get lost. So here's the exact location. After this, you're going to want to go over here to the far right corner of the map. Again, it might be easier just to go and start a new lobby, or you could even just grab the boat that's in this area. So this one's actually a little bit difficult to find, and it will be located right outside of Sunflower Saplings. So as you're on your way here, you should discover that landmark like I just did. This is what it looks like. You're going to find this little barn here. which, And then what you want to do is actually head into the main town that's just behind here. So just keep coming this way until you're in the actual town. And you're actually going to find the gem located hidden in the corner. This one's one of the hardest ones to find, I think, because it's so tucked away. But here it is on the minimap in the exact spot so that you guys don't get lost. So be sure to pick up this gem. You do not want to miss this one. It could be kind of aggravating if you end up missing this one. And that should, I believe, be number five. At this point, we're about halfway done. But you can go ahead and go back to the main lobby and start a new game. I'm going to take you guys to the other side of the map where you can collect multiple gems all in the same match. So that way you don't waste too much time. So once you've made your way into the new lobby, what you want to do is set your waypoint over here. Once you get into this area, it is going to be pretty overgrown and the gem is sort of hidden in the bushes. So I'll show you guys exactly how to get there. Of course, as always, you're going to want to grab a weapon in case other people are here before going to the gem. So I went ahead and did that, but you're going to find the gem right next to the reboot van. And here's the exact location on the map in case maybe you guys can't find it. 
that should be number six. For gem number seven, what you want to do is actually come over to this location here. The gem should be found right around this area. So either, any way that you want to get over there is up to you. I went ahead and just went into a new lobby because I ended up getting eliminated. But if you can find an ATV or a car, you can get over here pretty quickly. Luckily enough, this gem's really out in the open. It's not too hard to find. So all you need to do is just land into this little desert area, build a staircase on top of this rock, and you should find a gem right here in the dead middle of this landmark. Now, once you collect this one, you really don't want to go into a new game because you're going to end up finding another gem just around the corner. So don't don't just back out. You want to do what you want to do is actually set your waypoint right here, and this is going to allow you to get to the next one. So once you get to the next area, it's actually going to be a little bit overgrown, but the gems are really not too hard to find. Just jump on top of the uh, temple and look on your mini map. The gem should pop up. Now, if the gem doesn't pop up for some reason, uh, you should still be able to find it. It's right here in this middle temple. And all you have to do is just build a little ramp and you should be able to walk across and grab the gem pretty easily. So luckily we're almost done now. We're going to go over to gem number 9 and 10. Whether you want to go to a new game or not is up to you, but I went ahead and did that because it's so far away. This time we're going to go to these islands that are located right off the edge of the map. So that's exactly where you want to set your waypoint. So just fly on into this small island, and since the island is so small, you really shouldn't have too much trouble finding the gem. Once you collect a few weapons and get ready to fight anyone that's going to stop you, you should be able to find the gem right next to this fire pit. Now, that should be number 9, and in order to get to number 10, you shouldn't have to go too, too far. So we're going to go from this island here, and we're going to go over to this little wooded area in the back. This is actually going to be the temple once you get there, if you remember from older Fortnite seasons. All you'll really have to do if you want to get there from this little island is head west, and you can easily walk there in, in the same match. Once you've run all the way here, you'll notice you are at the temple, which is the old Fortnite location. In order to find the gem here, just run up the stairs and it should be located in the dead center. That's pretty much all you guys have to do. I hope this video helped you guys out and wasn't too confusing to get around to all 10 of these waypoints quick and easily. Now, I make challenge videos all the time, so if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.